uh, yeah, hi, my name is Sean Davis. Uh, I am one of the members of the Bit Summit Organizational Committee and uh, also a, a freelancer here in Japan. Uh, I've been working in games for about 10 years um, as a writer, um, as a developer. Uh, currently, I work with uh, Dongen Entertainment, uh, a publisher here in Japan, and uh, also Sony Music. Uh, Entertainment Japan, another publisher uh, on Ties. And uh, yeah, I've been working with Bit Summit since the very beginning, uh, and this is our sixth year. I came to Japan in 2004, and I was teaching English, and uh, I came here with the, the idea that I would, I would get to uh, improve my Japanese and uh, possibly do some writing for. Uh, other media outlets in the United, you know, in the States or in Europe, and I started freelancing for some companies and started freelancing for uh, Famitsu and uh, a couple of Japanese outlets. And um, from there, I met some people. Um, I got my first job in the industry at a grasshopper manufacturer, working with Suda Fifty One. And then uh, after that, I came. I moved to Kyoto. I worked with Q Games for a little while, um, and that's where we started Bits on it. Uh, yeah, yeah, James Milky. Um, the the really the, the idea man behind like behind Bit Summit. Without him, this wouldn't have happened. John wouldn't be living this like I amazing champagne this, lifestyle. No. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. And all the caviar that I get is is, is thanks to him. That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's from like six years ago. Yeah, he first came up. Six years like, ago, hey, let's do if, this. If, if, if John and I hadn't conversed on, on Kyoto at the same time, this would literally not be happening right now. John be chilling on the TV, watching like some TVR sports from Atlanta, and uh, I would be, I don't know where I'd be, but wouldn't be here. It was really providence, man, like, it, like for us being at Q at the same time, and, and kind of having nothing to do at the same time, too. Exactly. Like, we were kind of between projects. This and... is what happens when uh, the devil makes work for idle hands. Yeah. For real. For... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Six, yeah. years, six years going. Looking forward yeah. to the seventh. Yeah, no doubt. Do you know what the, the name is going to be for number seven then? Yeah, but we can't, we can't, we can't reveal that yet. <laughs> we can't reveal that yet. I love your tattoos though. Oh, thank you. I need, I need to catch up myself. I need to yeah, you get should. a little bit, right? I'm sorry, I'm slacking. <laughs> I'm, I've been slacking. Yeah. Only one thing, yes. I like, I like uh, interacting with the devs. It's, uh, I love doing events. I didn't know that that was something that I would like to do. When we first started Bit Summit, I thought it was a crazy idea. Uh, James Milky and I worked together, uh, the co-founder of Bit Summit, and he he had this idea to do this, and I thought that it was it was going to be a lot of work for me, <laughs> and I wouldn't like it. But it turned out, you know, I I really enjoy being at the events and meeting everyone and connecting people um, and giving indies a chance to, to show their games. When we started the show, it was it was like 200 people in an auditorium, you know. And it's, this is kind of a personal thing from like just me personally. I'm, I, I juggle a lot of stuff and I'm learning to get better at that. So it's not necessarily some aspect of my job that I don't like to do. It's, it's like more an aspect, more like I want to be better at, at, at doing what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I'm always thinking like, how can I improve? Um, uh, I wanna, my dream is to like go to an event and then and the first day for setup, no one has any problems, right? Like we've already taken care of everything and everybody is ready. Um, for for the event and it's like no big fires to put out as much as I do love helping people like that's that's my 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 goal that's so I so I want to get better at that doing that so <laughs> it's not necessarily 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 something that, that I hate about my job it's just something that I want to improve a couple of big of moderate sized fires uh, but nothing really too bad I think everyone is has enjoyed the show um, the sponsors seem very happy. Uh, the devs are, are super happy. We've been able to to do a kick-ass like stage show and, and Twitch schedule, and we're connecting like all of these devs from the West with devs from the East and AAA Japanese devs with indie devs. So it's been it's been a, an awesome show so far, and tons of people here, even in the rain. 
Well, there's a lot. There's you know, there's lots of different ways. You know, I always I wanted to work in games, but I didn't want to do, you know, be a programmer, and I didn't have the necessary skills to be an artist. You know, the talent for that. Um, so you know, I, I was writing. Um, so I feel like if you want to get into games, you know, find something you're passionate about, and try to find a way to, to to make that to work in the industry in that field. You know, there's lots of different ways. You know, like writing. Of course, uh, as I said before, as a developer, um, um, marketing, uh, PR. You know, this, but I've done events. Um, I think there's a lot of different ways to, to get in. So. And I think this is true for pretty much any job. Just, just you know, be gracious and humble, and and be ready to learn. Um, I've had a lot of people like cook me up, and and I appreciate it. You know, like as I said, I started as a teacher, and and uh, and I've been fortunate enough to work in games for like ten years now. So. This is Nami San. He is the, uh, one of the designers of all, like almost all of the Vincent T shirts. Uh, we're really, really happy to have him be here and be part of the show. And they make awesome t shirts, you know, Nintendo branded t shirts. Uh, they're based here in Kyoto. Um, please check out their website. Uh, I didn't know that I could, you know. Um, it, I always wanted to work, work somewhere in video games, you know. I wanted to, to either to write about them or, you know, do something. I thought it would be cool to be in this industry. Because as a, a child, you play games, and and uh, I, I watched a lot of anime. I played a lot of Japanese video games. That's kind of why I came to Japan. You know, I wanted to study Japanese more, but but I I felt like if I was going to be a writer, then it's hard to differentiate myself if I'm one of, like, a million people in the U.S. Uh, so I came out here and said, okay, I'll try to specialize, and I'll just focus on Japanese games. and. I love Japan, um, so it, it was kind of an evolving plan, you know. I thought I was going to be in Japan for like one year. That was my initial, you know, thought, and now it's been like 14. So when we started the show, we wanted we wanted for to try to connect Japanese people. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm from, from Q Games. Uh, <laughs> Other than that, we wanted we wanted to connect Japanese indies because they there was kind of a rivalry I think that was going on between everybody like Japanese companies so like developers they weren't sharing tech they weren't sharing ideas um, and in the West you had all like these collectives like in Seattle and in Boston and in Toronto you know um, in the Netherlands as you said like like the devs were con any devs were connecting and working together to try to promote themselves. Um, but in Japan, it was a little bit more fractured, and you had a lot of people who were um, like really just single man teams, just doing stuff in their in their garage and not talking to anybody else. So the first show was about getting those guys to connect and then actually showing the rest of the world that there was a scene here. And I think one of the major accomplishments we've had from this summit is that now these devs are all getting together. You know. Um, and they're talking, and they're and we have Kyoto Indies now, which is like a, a meetup group um, that meets like once a month. We have Tokyo, Tokyo Indies. Uh, Kyoto Indies is run by uh, I think Saga Patel still runs that, and uh, and uh, Tokyo Indies is run by Alvin Fu. And uh, I mean, they're foreign devs that live here, but they were like, hey guys, let's get together and like and like share ideas and talk to each other and share you know our projects. And it kind of the ball got rolling, and ever since then, it's uh it's really. I think the scene has changed. Um, what, I, what would I say um, to my younger self? Uh, be focused. Focus on, on what you want to do uh, and, and get rid of the distractions. And you can achieve, really. Yeah. Um, I know that's really that's super generic, but it's, it's probably you know, if I if I had someone sit me down, you know, ten years ago and say, "Hey, this is where you can be," you know, it's not inevitable, but uh, uh, you just need to to push the other things to the side that are going to distract you and focus on what you want to do, and and you'll be all right. Uh, no, this is uh, Akarito yeah. from uh, Untie's SME. Uh, he used to be at PlayStation. Uh, he was one of the first people to come and believe in Bit Summit and help support us from the very beginning. So, and now he's uh, still part of the Bit Summit. Now. So, 
Thank you to him. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I played. My favorite games as a child were were like Shining Force, um, RPGs, JRPGs. Uh, probably one of my favorite games of all time is uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. So I love tactical, like slow games that I can, you know, really think through. MMOs. I played a lot of. I played EverQuest, Ashron's Call, uh, Dark Age of Camelot, <laughs> Warcraft. I mean, it's like everything. Um, I don't really have the time to do that anymore. But I'm a big Monster Hunter fan. I wish I could play more. Be humble, man. Be ready to learn. You know, come in with your hat in your hands and be ready. You know, like I, I tell I tell younger devs this all the time. Um, be be ready to, to to sit at the feet of other people and try to figure out what they're doing and 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 open to listen. You know, uh, if you're really bullheaded about something, it's not going to help, man. It's, it's just going to be abrasive. Um, yeah, so I think I've had an opportunity to work with some amazing people, um, and I've always appreciated that. So, yeah, just just be open, be humble, be ready to to, to learn, and, and you'll go far. Thank you to Tomix uh, for for being an awesome partner and sponsor here at uh, at um, at Bit Summit, and you know I hope that uh, we see you guys next year. And everybody on social media, what's up? You can uh, follow uh, us at, at Bit Summit. Uh, follow me at, at Porkins, P0RK1NS. Uh, follow Dangan Entertainment, uh, Unties Games uh, on social media, and uh, yeah, hit us up. Okay, thank you. Well, I've heard you're quite fond of Dutch cookies. <laughs> so. Stop playing! Oh my god, you guys are gonna go. kill me. You're gonna make me so fat. I love it. This is the only thing I eat for. <laughs> Thank Enjoy. You.